Welcome back. The Swatch Bharat says or SBC is a says which you will see appearing either on restaurant bills, telephone bills or club bills. Now this says was levied from November 2015 to ramp up toilet construction nationwide and nearly 16 million toilets were constructed over the last two years alone. According to the government, another 95 million still need to be constructed over the next three years. Now this with an aim to make India open defec defecation free by the year 2019. However, the government auditor has pointed to irregular in using CES and over the last few years, only 41% of the 3.1 lakh crore rupees collected have been used. To discuss this further, we are now joined by Abhishek Vagmare, a policy analyst at India Spread. Abhishek, thanks for joining in on the show. I want to understand uh, of the CES that has been allocated or collected, uh, what percentage of it has been used? We have the basic numbers, but can you break up which sectors and what areas have been collected and not been used appropriately? Okay, so CES is primarily collected for uh, sectors like education, for roads, and for environment. Mm. So these are the primary sectors for which CES is collected. But now in this year, there are three new sectors which are added. Last year we had Swachh Bharat CES, which for which the CES is collected to construct toilets to make India defecation free. Then there is Krishi Kalyan CES, which is added this year, this is, which is for farmers' welfare. And then we also have the infrastructure CES, which has been added this year. So for different purposes, different uh, expenditures, on, uh, public expenditures, CES is being collected. So CES, CES, what it means is that it is to be collected and it, it has to be spent only on the purpose for which it is collected and not elsewhere. So this is the purpose of CES. Uh, so till uh, in the last year, uh, in 14-15, the total CES collected was rupees 83,000 crore. And in 1617, the budget estimates say that the to total cess collected will be 1.65 lakh crore. That is the double the amount two years ago. Whereas in the two years, the total re tax revenue collection has increased only by 8%. The cess collection has increased by 100%. It has doubled. So it shows that the center is uh, more dependent or center is uh, managing its resources from uh, means like cess and not direct income taxes. Yeah, you're right, Abhishek, there. And the reason why the center chooses the CES route is because it doesn't have to share that revenue uh, with state governments. But Abhishek, you know, on the back of the data that India spend has, uh, has analyzed, and of course the CAG report as well, where are you seeing the most discrepancy where CES has actually been collected but large amounts of money remain unutilized? I'm just taking a look at some of the heads. Uh, and I think in terms of primary education CES, there I think uh, uh, the uh, collected amount uh, and the unutilized Utilized amount, uh, the, the actually the unutilized amount is not as bad. But where are you actually seeing uh, a lot of the discrepancy? It, it is in the secondary education. In primary education, there is one prarambik shiksha kosh, so which is a dedicated, uh, it, it, you can call it as a bank account, which is dedicated for uh, spending on primary education. So from the one lakh fifty thousand crore collected in the last ten years. Uh, only 13,000 crore has not been utilized. But for the secondary mm. education, 64,000 crore was collected and no such, no such kosh or no such uh, bank account was, uh, or account was created for that. So the CAG says that mm. it is unclear where this amount was spent, actually spent. And the CAG says that the possibility of the diversion of funds for purposes not mandated under the Act, or Finance Act, cannot mm. be ruled out. So the CAG says that the it cannot be ruled out that this says or this amount has been utilized elsewhere by the finance ministry mm. other than secondary education. So there's also Are they saying that about any other of the cesses as well, Abhishek? Because this is what you are pointing out as far as the secondary education cess right. is concerned. Has this concern been raised by the central auditor on any of the other cesses collected? Yes, there's a clean environment cess. Uh, there is the research and development fund which, is, which was being collected since 1998. So uh, then again, there is the Universal Service Obligation Fund. Uh, the, the, this CES is collected to, uh, to ramp up communication services in rural areas. Yeah. So, so the CAG also talks about these three CESs, which, are, which have not been utilized fully uh, as much as they are collected. 
Well, you're absolutely right. India is not just stressed out, it's also cessed out. And this is the question right. that we were asking the finance ministry and the finance minister, th this budget as well, that, you know, why do we need another bunch of cesses? And that's exactly what right. we're having to deal with. And, of course, the big question is proper utilization. One doesn't mind paying, but the question is, are those funds even being utilized for the purpose for which they're being exactly. collected? But, Abhishek, uh, thank you very much for joining us here and taking us through the data that's been put together by India Spend uh, on the back of the reports that have come in from the CAG and other sources.